Hey guys, it's Monday the 4th of September today and it's my first day back at work but I'm actually going to a new job um, so I'm super nervous, I'm leaving a little bit early I think it's an inset day today so the children won't be in which is nice because it means I can settle in and like chat to everyone but yeah, nervous You may not see much of me on Mondays, I'm going to try and carry on weekly vlogging for as long as I feel able to um, but Mondays I'll be working a full day so you might not see very much of me on Mondays in the weekly vlogs but I will try my best um, and I will update you later as to how my first day went Hi, it's me sat in the car again and it's actually Tuesday. I'm sorry I didn't update you yesterday on how my first day went. Um, I did my full day and then I went to visit my granddad after work. By the time I got home I had lots of things to do and I just thought, do you know what, I'll just start again tomorrow. So it's Tuesday and I'm off to work again. Hopefully you will see much more of me for the rest of the week because I'm only working until 12. So I can properly catch you up later and maybe I can show you how my craft room's looking and everything because I've redone it again um, and we can do something fun. <laughs> so I will see you after work. Hi guys, I'm really sorry. I know I've been being completely useless but it's this whole settling into a new job thing. I'm just not really with it at the moment. So... I will try my hardest, that's all I can promise, but this happens all the time. I do my weekly vlogs throughout the summer and then as soon as um, I go back to work or I go back to uni or whatever, why can't I get this baby belt out of the packet? Oh my gosh, come on. Oh my gosh. Okay, I did it. Um, as soon as I go back to work or uni or whatever it might be, I just stop filming. and. To be honest, part of it is that I'm not really doing anything um, worthy of showing you, um, in a way. I feel like the just day-to-day -day ins and outs of my life while I'm, you know, doing nothing, um, it's not interesting to show you, so I don't. Um, and then it gets to the end of the week and I realise that I haven't filmed a single thing and I'm supposed to be putting up a weekly vlog. So at the moment I'm just a bit stuck, like I don't know what to do, I don't know what to film, um, but I'm going to try. I'm going to be at home this afternoon, so hopefully I can come up with something to show you. Um, but yeah, I'm just a bit worried that these weekly vlogs are going to get very boring very quickly. Hi, so I'm now home from work, I've had some lunch and I'm about to have another tray of tea which is my favourite thing to do at the moment apparently, not that you can really see that and um, then I'm going to list some new bandanas and bows on Etsy because I have some lovely new stock. We've got some woodland fabrics to go up today. I have some more over at my mum's that I've forgotten to um, bring over, so that's annoying. Did it again, didn't I? Said I was gonna film and then didn't. Yes, I am wearing the same outfit that I wore on Monday. Um, it was an inset day on Monday and I don't really have <laughs> many clothes um, that I like to wear or that I'm comfy in at the moment so I'm just wearing this same thing because the kids haven't seen me in it yet. Um, I know that I just keep apologising that I'm not filming but I feel like this week was always going to be like this, like I needed this week to settle back into work. I feel like I've got my morning routines down like perfectly now. Um, like I'm getting everything done in the mornings, I'm getting out of the house on time, getting to work like well in time and everything. So I feel like that part of my routine, I've got it like down pat now. But like the afternoons when I get in from work, that's where I'm struggling because this first week I'm just so tired. I'm like, I can't get up, I can't do anything. Um, or I'm doing things that just don't seem worthy of showing you. So hopefully by next week, I'll have settled into it a little bit more um, and I won't be so useless. If you follow me on Instagram you'll have seen that I've been taking part in Emma Bridgewater September um, and there's like a photo prompt for every day, it's a photo challenge and I am loving sharing all of my pottery. 
I love Emma Bridgewater. And because there's a new royal baby, there will probably be a new royal baby mug for me to collect too. Sorry the lighting's bad, it's um, a little bit darker in the mornings now, which means it's darker in here, but I thought I would just randomly show you what I take to work with me. So I've got my notebook here, which is for observations, because I'm working with a new child and I want to note down some any, like anything that I notice, um, any ideas I have that might help that child. This is my water bottle. It's a litre one. I try and get through a litre of juice in the morning or a litre of water, whatever I fancy. My bag full of rubbish, that's a pencil case, a little bag of essentials like a mirror, portable charger, lip balm, tissues, hand sanitizer, umbrella, purse, random receipt from yesterday. And then this is my little lunch box that I take to work with me. Um, I don't actually have lunch at work Tuesday to Friday because I'm only at work until 12. Um, but I take some snacks with me because I do get a brief uh, break time most days. This sticker was given to me last September when I started work at my old school. One of the kids gave it to me and I stuck it on my lunchbox because I didn't have anywhere else to put it. And this has been through the dishwasher so many times and it's stayed on there. <laughs> so I've just left it on there. I'm home from work now. It's actually um, 20 to 3. I went for lunch with a friend and I'm about to start filming a video where I set up my new traveller's notebook. However, my camera keeps messing about. It won't record anything, which is really irritating, as you can imagine. It just keeps cancelling after about five seconds. Excuse all of this stuff, it's everything Will's been using in the garden, but it's 6am and I've woken up to complete darkness this morning so weird how quickly the seasons change like on monday when i woke up at six for work it was gloomy but it wasn't pitch black now it is pitch black outside the only light is from there's a lamp a street lamp right there that's the only light i've just been out and fed and watered the rabbits and let the dogs out and it is pitch black how do you feel about it being dark in the mornings you don't care, do you? As long as you get fed. <laughs> Part of the reason I get up so early is so that, oh, for goodness sake, Winnie, is um, so that I can make myself a little breakfast tray, have some peace and quiet just with the dogs, and just relax before I have to start getting ready for work. Hey, so I'm now ready for work. Um, today's the first really autumnal day that we've had. I mean, we've had rain, but today it just feels like autumn um obviously with it being pitch black when i got up this morning um and now it's windy and rainy so my parker coat is having its first outing of the season since like march and i've got myself a little hot chocolate in my new cup that i got for my birthday <sighs> i do love this time of year though <laughs> it's definitely my favorite time of year like the next four months I love, like in America they call it holiday season because obviously they have like Thanksgiving and everything in November. Um, but yeah, I love September, I love back to school season, even though it now means back to work for me. Um, I love Halloween, I love bonfire night, I love Christmas, I'm just giddy at this time of year. Good morning, it is Saturday. Sorry I look like this. <laughs> We've just got up. Um, we had a bit of a lie-in because um, last night, well yesterday evening, I went out with my mum. Um, we went to some little antique shops and we went for tea and cake and everything. And um, then I came home, had some dinner and started feeling really poorly. Um, and I was being sick and everything, so. Um, went to bed, had a nice long lie-in and I'm just getting up now 
and I do not look so hot right now. <laughs> On the plus side, I've been using some special cream and the eczema around my eyes is really starting to clear up, so that's good, because that was really getting me down. Um, but yeah, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do this morning. I feel like just having a bit of a lazy day. Um, so I might make my blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I might make myself a little tray of tea. And yeah. Archie likes to help dad with <laughs> all of the work in the garden. Archie, you need to get down. <laughs> you like to help, don't you, when dad's working? Obviously, I know the garden is still full of stuff, but the patio is going to look so much better. And all down here has been filled with the shingle and everything. It's gonna look so much nicer, especially now that we have the nice blue doors. <laughs> we might paint this as well, I'm not sure. Dishwasher is full of Emma Bridgewater this morning. <laughs> Winnie loves to sunbathe. She's found herself a little spot of sun and she's just gonna sit in it. <laughs> what you doing, Winnie? Do you not like dad rubbing your belly? Do you not like dad's belly rubs? No. Not like them? So, I've been having a faff about with my dresser today. I was actually supposed to be at an event in London today, but I'm really not feeling great, so I'm, I haven't gone, but um, I've been faffing about with my dresser, changing some things around because this bottom bit was just getting covered in stuff and I had no room for all of my mugs. Um, so there's a teapot and a jug missing from up there because I'm currently washing them. But um, yeah, I had a switch around. I cleared out the bottom of um, my dresser because it was just full of rubbish. So I cleared out the bottom of it and I packed away a lot of my um, other mugs. So this cupboard was previously filled with tons of mugs that were not Emma Bridgewater. Um, just sort of normal mugs like those that I get from all sorts of places. Um, and it was absolutely full of them and I don't use them all and I have so many mugs um, that I thought, right, I'm going to clear out the cupboard. So all of the ones that were in here that I don't want to use and I don't want to keep for guests um, or that were Christmas related or whatever, I've packed away in a box underneath my dresser um, and that left me with enough space to move all of my Kath Kidston ones and there's two rows of those into the cupboard so guests can use the Kath Kidston ones I can use them if I want like a giant cup of tea or whatever um, all of my Kath Kidston Disney ones are up there but they'll, they're going to be moved into my office and then all the other ones are for guests to use or for me to use or whatever. And because I moved all of my Kath Kidston ones into here, it meant that I had room on my mug tree to put all of my just everyday Emma Bridgewater ones. So now these are just my, um, the ones that aren't really rare. I like them, but they're not like really special. Um, these ones I got from Howden's when we got our kitchen. Um, this one was one of the first ones I bought. I've got a polka dot one. Um, but yeah, so those are the ones that I can just have out to use every day and again guests can have them. But yeah, I wish I had before and after photos because, oh my gosh, <laughs> this cupboard was rammed full. Sorry about the noise, it's just started raining. But yeah. My dresser is looking a lot clearer now too. It didn't um, free up as much space as I was hoping because I had more mugs lying around than I thought and they filled up the hooks pretty quick. Um, so I still don't have much room for collecting new bits and bobs but it looks a lot better than it did. Wow. got a bit wild out here very quickly. I am sorting out my craft room again. <laughs> Last night my parents came round and they brought over my chest of drawers. So I um, have been living here for a year and a half without a chest of drawers. Like all of my pyjamas that I had here and all of my underwear and everything was all just in a 
um, bag in the bottom of my wardrobe. <laughs> um, I didn't have anywhere to put it, so finally after a year and a half, my chest of drawers is here and it's underneath the window. I was originally gonna put it in the middle where the radiator is, but actually um, it's a lot smaller than I remember. I, I always think of it as being bigger and um, it didn't look right in the middle, so I've moved it over to the side and eventually I might put something else there. Um, but yeah, I've got some stuff I need to put away there. And then also my mum brought over this big bag of stuff which I packed like when I left um, home and I never brought it over. It's mainly decorative stuff that I had um, in my house, well, in my bedroom at home. Um, so I don't really know what to do with the majority of it because I don't really have anywhere to put it here. Um, and then these bags, I think I've spoken to you about before. I've got back to uni stuff there and I still haven't filmed my back to uni haul. Um, the little lap pads and the bag underneath is all stuff for the rabbit shed when I redo the rabbit shed. And these are all books to be donated that I still have not donated. <laughs> Good morning, it's Tuesday. Um, didn't see any of me yesterday, um, but I did say I th thought that might happen. Um, but yes, fresh new start, it's Tuesday, and I'm about to head off to work. Um, I'm settling into my new job really well. I'm really enjoying it. Um, I'm enjoying the shorter days, although I'm not sure I'll enjoy it so much on payday, but we'll see. Um, yeah. I'm enjoying it. It's a nice job. The child I one-to-one -one with is really sweet. The whole class is lovely. The teacher is lovely. So yeah, I'm enjoying it, but I better get off to work now because it's quarter past eight and now is about the time I like to leave. I'm feeling super autumnal, so I'm loving wearing my boots at the moment. Good afternoon. I am home from work and I've had some lunch. It's now 10 past one and I am about to head out to the post office. I feel like I spend my whole life at the post office but I always have things that need to be sent to people. So I'm heading there now. I'm gonna try and be quick because I'm expecting a parcel um, myself and I feel like it will just be typical that I'll leave the house and then the parcel will arrive. You won't believe it. I turned around, well I came up my house, locked the door, turned around and there was the DHL delivery man. So um, thankfully I got my parcel. Sorry you can probably hear the kettle on the um, hob next to me but this is my parcel. It's from Liberty and um, this is only part of my order. Basically it's um it's emma bridgewater of course um obviously being liberty it's more expensive than usual um, and they do like exclusive um patterns for liberty and they do it for other departments department stores as well um and other companies too but that makes it slightly more expensive and i've never really been bothered before i hadn't seen a print that um, emma bridgewater did with liberty that i actually liked but this one I really did. So I sold a load of stuff um, to make the money to buy it. And as I said, this is only part of my order. I ordered a plate, a mug and a little jug. And they've only sent me the plate in this order, which is a bit weird. But, you know, <laughs> it's fine. It's obviously how they've decided to do it. And the... Um, plate the mug and the jug sorry have been dispatched now as well so they'll probably arrive in a couple of days but this is the plate so i'll open it so here is the plate it's the eight and a half inch plate and i absolutely loved this pattern until somebody on the group said it just looks like eyeballs and now i'm looking at it and all i can see is a load of eyes staring at me so i'm kind of gutted because i've spent like 70 pounds on a plate, a mug and a jug and I'm not sure I like it as much anymore <laughs> but I'm sure it will grow on me again because I loved it before so yeah. Where is it? 
Archie likes to do this thing where he uses that ball on a string as kind of like a hockey stick and he hits this one around with it. <laughs> He's so clever, it's ridiculous. Hey guys, are you sad? He's all wet. <laughs> are you all wet? You trying to dry off? Oh, Archie. You soaking? Are you soaking? Oh no. We're in the conservatory where it's nice and warm. Archie, don't rub yourself on the washing. No. No. Don't rub yourself on the washing. <laughs> that was a funny little skip. They try and rub themselves on anything to get dry. Good morning, it's Wednesday, halfway through the week already and I'm about to head off to work. I feel like I only ever speak to you when I'm about to head off to work at the moment. I need to sort myself out because <laughs> I said in last week's vlog that I would stop being so boring. But I'm going over to my mum's house after work today so um, you can see the puppies and everything. And I'm sure I'll think of something to show you later on, hopefully. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Friday today. I had a day off filming yesterday. I think I mentioned it um, at the beginning of this week, maybe, um, but this week work is absolutely fine, everything's fine, but I just feel really down. Like I've had some tears, I feel really blue, like it happens to me occasionally. Um, I have struggled for a long time, sort of, probably since I was about eight or nine um, with anxiety and what I call depressive episodes because I suppose I don't really want to say depression but that is what it is. Um, and sometimes it just hits me and sometimes it only lasts um, a week and sometimes it lasts a long time. Um, I'm hoping this is just a little blip that's maybe caused by all the change that's going on in my life at the moment because I do struggle with change. Um, but yeah, it's meant that this week I've barely filmed, I've had nothing to show you. Um, and obviously you'll already know by now if I did this or not um, because you'll have watched this whole video up to this point. But um, I think I'm gonna put this week and last week together to make like a bumper vlog so you can see the first two weeks of me settling back into work. Um, and then we'll start afresh new, um, we'll start afresh next week and hopefully I'll have more to share with you. Tomorrow should be fun though because I am driving um, a few more hours down south to go and see Daisy. Um, Daisy is one of my best friends. She runs the channel My Green Cow, which I'm sure you'll know. Archie is coming to jump all over me. Um, I'm sure you will all already be um, subscribed to My Green Cow, but she's one of my best friends. I don't get to see her very often, but we talk every day, so it never feels like um, very long between seeing her. Um, and yeah, she is down south, so she has asked if I would like to go and see her, and I definitely would. So um, yeah, I'm gonna pack up the dogs and head down to see her tomorrow and her new little dog, Bonnie. Hello. I am about to head out for lunch with my mum after work. I have got to go get cash out because I invited my mum out for lunch to this place and then I remembered they only take cash and I don't have any, so I need to go and get some now. Hey, puppy.
don't know what Winnie's doing. So we had a lovely day with Daisy and we're about to head home. Um, the footage got cut short because Archie went and rolled in a nice big bit of fox poo in Daisy's garden. So we had to run up and give him an emergency bath. So that was fun. Um, but yeah, I'm about to head home now. Probably took me about an hour and a half and it's already half six now, so.